we definitely upgraded today at that position. I think you have to sign them. I, I think they're going to sign them, and I think they're going to sign them pretty quickly. I think you're going to see here um, fairly shortly that they're going to get some kind of deal done with him. We need solid players in multiple positions. The value of that position for a defense is very large. If he can come here and keep doing what he was doing in Washington, um, that's going to help this defense out a lot. I don't mind the second-round picks so much as long as you're capable of acquiring picks the way you have been. It's a fairly solid move by the Bears, although it kind of has mimicked the Chase Claypool trade in some ways. It's night and day difference. I think the Steelers were so ready to move on from Chase Claypool. Meanwhile, uh, Washington just can't afford their entire D-line. They just can't. But it's, it's not like he's not producing for them. He yes, he has the sack capabilities. Yes, he has the pass rush moves. Yes, he has a, the bull rush type of moves. But he also plays very well, extremely well in the run game. He's not a, a low character guy. So I believe something will get done. I don't think that he'll get market setting or, or market resetting uh, money. I think he'll get a fair fair deal for what he's worth. I, I do agree. I did notice, you know, he does have the similarities to Yannick where it's not above 10 sacks, but just almost there, almost there, you know, every year. But also to speak to that, to kind of devil's advocate, the well, he's playing with these guys, what is it, have more sacks. Well, he's playing with those guys, and those guys get to the quarterback too. So sometimes you you, you can't get there. They're